Frank, how would you assess Chelsea's performance tonight? Well, uh, first, first, uh, first very good first half where they dominated Tottenham. Tottenham were pressured in their, in their uh, own half and, uh, and we didn't see Tottenham. Chelsea did what they had to do. They, they scored a goal. It's why maybe Mourinho was very upset about because uh, I think, I mean, he, they didn't have a tactic, Tottenham. So uh, credit to, uh, to Frank and to, uh, to Chelsea in the first half. But after, very critical about the second half, the way they played. Even if Kante came on after and changed a little bit uh, the way Chelsea was playing. But uh, it's sad to see that that team, um, still, uh, since the beginning of the season, is incapable of playing 90 minutes. So yeah. they have to uh, change that because it's going to be a problem otherwise. All that excitement in the summer, given the new signings and the money that was spent, Jules. This certainly hasn't lived up to expectations. I know we're only a couple of games in so far. Obviously, the win against Brighton, what not particularly convincing. Loss against Liverpool, come from behind against West Brom, losing uh, today on penalties. That's right, but I think it's a process. That's what Frank Lampard keeps saying. He's, he, and he's right, in a way, because so many new players, some were ready, others were not ready. We saw Thiago Silva, Ben Chilwell who had either injuries or were coming back from the Champions League, for example, in Thiago Silva's cases. And then a very small pre-season where you don't really have time to work on integrating those new signings. So it was always going to take time, more time than a, a Liverpool team, for example, who was already ready from, from the last three seasons, or you know, even other clubs like that. So it's, it's part of the process, but you're right. I think we could be disappointed. I think Frank would be disappointed by the results, mm. also by the content of the games. And like Frank said, not being able to be consistent over 90 minutes and keeping making mistakes, especially defensively. The goal they concede tonight is a goal they cannot, you cannot defend like that in a game like this. It's, it's outrageous how bad it is defensively. Yeah, defensively, how do you explain that, Frank? Especially off the back of that terrible display against West Brom at the weekend. Well, I don't know. I mean, we, we say that all, all season long last season where we saw so many mistakes from the defense where they don't talk to each other, they don't cover each other. I mean, the action from Tottenham, from Spurs comes from the right side when there is a long pass to the left side, where, which is the right side of, uh, of Chelsea, where Aspilicueta should have called back Werner but didn't. And then you have a cross. And uh, Tomori doesn't go for the ball. Zuma thinks that Tomori will go for the ball, so he's not reacting well. And then you have somebody completely alone on the, on the far post, uh, Lamela, uh, in that occasion, and, and a score an easy goal where you cannot uh, say anything to Mendy. I mean, he's, uh, he's, uh, he's crucified, you know, five yards from, from the goal. So it's uh, something that you have to work on. It's not only the defense, it's also the midfielders that mm. they have to work. They have to come back. Even maybe Werner or maybe, I don't know, Abraham or Mount. I mean, Mount was... Awful all game long. I mean, he's a very talented player, but some players have to wake up if they want to have a career. Right. It's not only a year, it's not only six months of career, it has to be more. Uh, Mendy, how do we assess his debut, Shaka? Um, uh, good, without being any, anything more. I think it was important that he got out there, got some minutes, made a couple of saves that you'd expect him to make, dealt with crosses, looked comfortably in the first half, flopped, uh, flapped at one. In the second, but I, you know, it's, it's it's a good opportunity for him just to get out there, get some game time with with his new team. Uh, I thought he did what was asked of him, par for the course. Uh, <laughs> I'm thinking about Eric Dyer and I was going to say something, but then I get into trouble. So I'm going to go back to Spurs' overall performance. Uh, Jules, what do we take from it? Well, we take that they, they managed to come back in the game uh, again and uh, they, the changes that Mourinho made worked because in the first half you, you could not work really out how tactically they were playing, what kind of formation. It was, I thought it was an, an absolute shambles. It was much better in the second half with some of the changes, I think with a different attitude as well. Uh, and, and that would be very positive, especially after what happened against Newcastle at the weekend and the disappointment of considering that goal so late. And just to finish on Dyer, he was really lucky that the, the tunnel, at the new ground is really small and then the, the dressing room was straight there because it yep. could have been another stadium where you've got long tunnels and it's a long <laughs> walk back yes, to the toilet. Yes, that's very true. <laughs> 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 no clean sheets for anyone in that game.
Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.